time, in the heart of a dark and mysterious city, there stood a peculiar establishment known as the Crimson Fail. This was no ordinary strip club. It was a haven for creatures of the night, a place where vampires could indulge in their darkest desires. The club was hidden away in a forgotten alley, its entrance guarded by a massive iron gate adorned with intricate patterns of blood-red roses. Only those who possessed the mark of the vampire were granted entry, their invitation a crimson seal pledged onto their skin. Inside, the atmosphere was thick with anticipation and an eerie sense of seduction. The walls were draped in velvet curtains, and the air was heavy with the scent of incense and the faint rustle of wings. The stage, bathed in a crimson glow, was where the dancers, both male and female, captivated their audience with their hypnotic movements. The patrons, a mix of the vampires and curious mortals, sat at a table adorned with black lace, sipping on glasses filled with crimson liquid that mirrored the color of their own existence. They watched in awe as the dancers, their bodies graceful and ethereal, moved with a supernatural elegance. Among the dancers was a young vampire named Serafina. With her porcelain skin, cascading raven hair, and piercing blue eyes, she was the epitome of beauty and danger. Serafina had been a mortal once, but her life had been forever changed when she was turned into a creature of the night. As the night wore on, Serafina took to the stage, her movements fluid and mesmerizing. Her dance was a tantalizing blend of sensuality and danger captivating the audience with every twist and turn. Her fangs glistened under the, the dim lights, a reminder of the darkness that lurked within her. But behind her captivating facade, Serafina harbored a secret. She longed for the taste of true love, a connection that transcended the boundaries of her cursed existence. She yearned for someone who would see past her vampiric nature and love her for who she truly was. One fateful night, as Serafina danced her heart out, her eyes met those of a mortal man named Gabriel. He was unlike any other patron of the Crimson Fail, vale. his eyes filled with a mix of curiosity and fear. Serafina felt an inexplicable pull towards him, as if their destinies were intertwined. Gabriel, a writer seeking inspiration for his next horror novel, had stumbled upon the Crimson and Fail by chance. Intrigued by the rumors surrounding the club, he had ventured inside, unaware of the danger that awaited him. As the night came to an end, Serafina approached Gabriel, her heart pounding with a mix of excitement and trepidation. She revealed her true nature to him, expecting him to recoil in fear. But to her surprise, Gabriel saw beyond her vampiric exterior and into the depths of her soul. Their love blossomed amidst the darkness of the Crimson Fail, vale, defying the laws of nature and society. Serafina and Gabriel's forbidden romance became the talk of the vampire community, their story whispered in hushed tones among the patrons. But as their love grew stronger, so did the danger that surrounded them. Jealousy and envy festered among the other vampires, their thirst for power and control threatening to tear Serafina and Gabriel apart. In a desperate bid to protect their love, Serafina and Gabriel devised a plan to escape the clutches of the Crimson Fail. Vale. With the help of a few loyal vampire allies, they made their daring escape under the cover of darkness, leaving behind the world they had known. As they ventured into the unknown, Serafina and Gabriel faced countless challenges and dangers. But their love remained steadfast, a beacon of light in a world consumed by darkness. And so, the tale of the Crimson Fail vale and its vampire strip club faded into legend, a cautionary tale of forbidden love and the lengths one would go to protect it.
The club stood empty, its velvet curtains tattered and its crimson glow extinguished. A mere memory of a time when vampires danced in the shadows.